believe it or not children are making inferences all the time yes you heard that right when a child spills a glass of milk and finds you glaring at her she knows that you're angry or when you come home from the office loosening your tie walking your way towards the sofa she knows that you're tired in either case she needs not be explicitly told for she already understands what that fierce look or those heavy steps imply the understanding of the implied or the unsaid stems from her background knowledge of similar events or experiences from the past this ability to comprehend what is not explicitly said is called inference this simple example is only to remind you that drawing inferences is not new for children however this does not mean that drawing inferences as a reading comprehension strategy is already known to them as a consciously employed strategy inferring is very advanced technique for improving reading comprehension one that requires instruction and implementation in the most interesting possible way in this video we will learn about inference and how to introduce this skill in your comprehension class so what is inference an inference is a calculated conclusion drawn from hints and suggestions in the story it is the ability to use two or more pieces of information from a text in order to arrive at a third piece of information that is implicit it can be as simple as associating the pronoun them with the previously mentioned group of people or it can be as complex as understanding a subtle implied message or theme conveyed through the writer's choice of vocabulary most of the times writers do not provide a clear topic sentence this keeps the writer's intentions veiled from the reader such a text requires reading between the lines to grasp the main idea of the text say for example we take a line she entered the room and removed her wet raincoat from this sentence we infer that it was raining outside how do we understand that of course to the hidden symbol of wet raincoat hence inference is to look for these little cues in the stories to make up the entire picture of the text thus inference is used for determining the main idea of the story based on hints and suggestions scattered throughout the text determining the cause and effect relationship between events in the story based on the evidences from the text determining the theme or message of the story consequently inferring helps to answer questions like What do you think the author is trying to tell us? What is the message of the story? What is the theme of the story? Or what characteristics of a particular character can you identify from the author's description of the character? To answer such questions, a child needs to make connections between what is written in the text and what he already knows. That is prior knowledge. collect evidences from the story to come to a calculated conclusion so as to be able to answer the why questions focus on the author's choice of words while describing a character place and event focus on the dialogues between the characters to determine what they think and feel if you like this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our channel and to know more about inferences keep watching our upcoming videos till then happy reading